you think we're heading to a bright future? How many of you don't? That answer you just gave me is a perception of your life. Why do you think your actions are worth and you say you have what happens in this world? So that question wasn't a guess, nor a prediction. It was a decision. I might tell you something about the future. I might tell you I'm sorry. I'm sorry that thousands of animals will go extinct, that poverty will solve millions of lives, that our governments will continue to be corrupt. But again, the future is more than that. It's a product of our actions in the decision you make today. As I Martin Luther King Jr. did in 1963, I have a dream. A dream where every person is concerned with what happens on the other side of the world. That is the key for the bright future I see. Because what is killing us right now is not a lack of power, but a lack of concern. Did you know that according to economist Jeffrey Sachs, the total cost per year to eradicate extreme poverty is not even 3% of the wealth of the world's richest people? That the cost of corruption, estimated by Transparency International, the same cost to educate every kid in the world for 30 years. That according to the WWF, the world will have no rainforest at all in 100 years. And if that makes you angry, or feel misrepresented, do something about it. Because it is your fault. It's your world who is suffering. Your world where innocent die and evil do strike. But your still thinking is out of your hands. Well, it is. You have the power to change. We have left this world in the hands of these so-called masters of the universe, the makers of man, the ones in charge. Brutes who have left this world in a state of neglect, smolder to decay in the rain while we the people lift our lives unaltered by the really used of our planet. Democracy is not a free ride. Change is not easy. Whether you care about gender equality, responsible government, or sustainable development, everything depends on you. On us, you see. If you want to know who is responsible, just look into a mirror and look to your side. Because our world is not in the hands of the privileged people. It is in the hands of all of us. We are strong and we are powerful and we decide our destiny. In the words of President Harry Truman, men make history, not the other way around. Through time, we've been tested. We were tested when empires ravaged villages, when we faced local annihilation, when hurricanes destroyed our homes, and we decided the future. We decide our present and we have to continue doing so. It doesn't matter if you're a middle-aged English teacher, a freedom fighter in Syria, or a 15-year-old Colombian boy who wants to make the world a little better. The future is your decision and your story. Only you have the duty to fight for your dreams, for your destiny. But what future you may ask? Well, I say a future of hope. A future of men, real men, who love and live in peace and liberty. A future where humanity works for the betterment and defense of the people. A future where fairness, justice, and freedom are more than words. Where factories produce machines that create for unity and peace instead of dispersion and war. Where courts of law reverse the tides of injustice. Where thousands are cradles of leadership. Where capitals rewrite countries to protect the people. Where our creed is love. Where destiny lies within our hearts and not within the impositions of the unkind. I believe in hope. I believe in decision. I hope for the future that I know we deserve, that our children deserve. I think that in the end, what it all comes down to is our character. Build up by the decisions we make every day. It's a question of just taking action, involving our peers, of answering the call of duty, of, of love. The answers we seek rest in our decisions. In our decision to go to school every day, in our decision to hug our neighbor, in our decision to embrace the difference among us, to serve our country, to rise up, to vote, to recycle, to report our elected officials when they are corrupt, to wake up, speak up, and stand up strong and steady for a deep in our hearts we know is right. To dream, to decide, to tell the world no, you're wrong, you move. That dream, that action, that choice we make, that is our future.